Bueno, ustedes saben que Ana Kikina eh, viene dando que hablar desde hace unos meses porque no sabíamos si finalmente iba a ser parte de la tripulación Crew 5 eh, en una, una cápsula Dragon de SpaceX eh, como parte del, del Commercial Crew Program o el, el programa de, de tripulaciones comerciales de la NASA. Bueno, finalmente la, la única cosmonauta mujer rusa en actividad, Ana Kikina, va a lanzar a la tripulación Crew 5 en, a fines de septiembre, principios de octubre, y tuve la chance de hablar 10 minutos con ella, muy buena onda, hablamos de varios temas, le pregunté un poquito de todo, tus expectativas de la misión, qué es lo que va a hacer a, a bordo de la estación espacial, eh, cómo, cómo, cómo vio el hecho de que su primera misión lanzara va a lanzar de los Estados Unidos y con un cohete y cápsulas comerciales. Así que bueno, se animó a hacer la entrevista en inglés. Tenía un traductor por las dudas, pero la verdad es que le agradezco su buena onda y ojalá la disfruten. Vamos. How are you, Anna? Uh, it's a pleasure to to talk to you and thank you for your time and, and taking the, a few minutes to talk to me. How how things are going? I I can imagine you're super excited uh, for your first mission. Ah, uh, hello, Manuel. Uh, uh, yes, I'm good, really feel and I'm inspired and um, uh, feel powerful to do our joint mission. Uh, thanks for that. You know, uh, you, if I'm if I'm uh, correct, you've been selected as a cosmonaut in 2012. Uh, so you've been training like uh, 10 years for this moment. Um, have you ever imagined that your first trip to space would be launching from the U.S. in a commercial rocket and a commercial crew in a commercial uh, um, capsule? Ah, uh, yes, you're right. I already uh, uh, in the cosmonaut core 10 years and I am getting ready to the, my first flight uh, quite long ago. And um, I have uh, <laughs> I have energetic for it. Uh, uh, and I, before I never uh, thought uh, about uh, my flight on the commercial uh, uh, vehicle in commercial uh, program. Uh, and uh, it is like it's like boom in my life uh, <laughs> uh, unexpectedly uh, I was informed about that possibility and I'm glad I'm glad it's my first step and uh, I see everything is uh, good everything is safe and uh, everybody is trying uh, to do that program that mission the best way and after that I'm planning to fly on Soyuz also because too much force was spent for it. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So what 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 is it? What um, what did you enjoy the most training for uh, launching on a on a crew dragon? And what are what are the main difference? Because you've been training a lot for the Soyuz. But uh, what what is what was the most difficult or what do you enjoyed at, at the same time the most? Most difficult. Ah, most, most difficult, strange uh, answer. I think you don't expect that answer. Uh, uh, it's to have a good condition after constantly overflow from one continent to another <laughs> continent. It's, it, it is reality because it quite destroyed the, the body yeah. and you have to rest to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to just to eat. Uh, but uh, uh, as to rest, everything is interesting and uh, involve me involves me to that process. And uh, uh, despite, despite everything, uh, I have uh, uh, always the uh, the energetic uh, and power to do our tasks, and um, I like to do it. I, I saw the conference with, with the rest of the crew, and I see that you have a, a very nice chemistry with the, with your crewmates. Yes, very nice chemistry. You're right. I can I can uh, uh, point, uh, point to draw our four pieces in one big card. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. We have good communication uh, uh, between each other. I'm really happy with that. I'm lucky. I don't know why. I like it's a, it's a excellent gift from life to me. 
what what is um what are your main activities, Anna, that you're going to perform uh, on board the the station? Um, are you uh, what is what is it that you're more, most looking for? Uh, ex some kind of experiments? Are you doing? Are you remember if you are doing a, an EVA? What, what is it that you're looking forward in this in the next six months? <laughs> Um, the most interesting uh, uh, for me, I can't separate some things from that big uh, picture. Uh, uh, in uh, as to Russian segment, we have new uh, devices uh, and uh, uh, equipment, uh -huh. new experiments, and um, uh, I am looking forward to try to use it on the station, not to try to do it. <laughs> to do it. <laughs> yes, and. Um, Mm, uh, EVA exactly. Uh, I think any uh, uh, cosmonaut, any astronaut wants uh, to have uh, uh, experience to be outside the station, to have, to have any tasks outside. And I hope I will have that also. No, I no, don't know when. Okay. Uh, maybe that maybe in that expedition because uh, we we uh, it, we have possibility to have a little change during the mission. But no, uh, nowadays, um, I'm uh, just uh, a field operator uh, okay. for EVAs uh, and uh, also like uh, operator of control panel um, of uh, European robotic arm. Anna, uh, so you, you, there's still a chance that you can do an EVA in this mission. So we still don't know. Uh, now we have a plan uh, 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 to have me like field operator, like assistant. Assist, yeah. And a uh, uh, controller of uh, European robotic arm. Okay. But who knows? Who we'll knows? See. Who knows? <laughs> Anna, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's difficult to not talk about this uh, political situation, but watching you with your crewmates and, and working everybody on the, on, on the space station, are you a believer that uh, the ISS should remain like a beacon of, of peace and friendship, of collaboration until the end of the, the, the station, till the end of the life of the station? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Manuel, may, we have four minutes now. Um, is I understood you correctly. Uh, yes, I agree with you. Uh, we, I think we should uh, tr to try to uh, keep uh, uh, in, uh, uh, to keep and save our all destination uh, at this moment and uh, to try to improve that in the future and uh, let us uh, and uh, let uh, that situation us uh, to use uh, that big huge yeah. platform of uh, common uh, yeah. uh, trying uh, da, 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 uh, to use it like trampoline a like some, like uh, that stepping stone, stepping stone. Yeah, 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 right. yeah 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 <laughs> and uh, anna anna you are um an inspiration for so many young girls not only in russia but around the world uh when you are on board the iss are you going to be able uh, to engage with them maybe talking with schools in russia with little girls how do you engage with little girls so they can they can uh, be more proactive towards uh being a, a future cosmonauts uh, public affair events is uh, you know, one of a part of our profession, uh, and we uh, we are doing it uh, constantly from time to time, and on the station also. And I'm glad to be like uh, example of our profession, profession, And if I uh, an example, why not? I want to uh, show people uh, and uh, young people, uh, ch children, um, teenagers, every, everybody, I want to show them if they are interested in uh, how it works, uh -huh. what you need to do it, and it is good. That's great. Anna, thank you so much for your time. I know you're busy. Uh, uh, last question. Uh, we have last, a last question. Last question. OK, just something, something out of the blue. What are you going to do with your hair? We are going to have a show with your hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to save my brain. Uh, it is uh, 
it is my part of my body. <laughs> okay. And I think it's similar than uh, free uh, hair in a space uh, to to keep it. Okay, perfect. Well, so you need to you need to take a lot of photos with your hair floating and and cleaning it. Perfect. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Anna, for your time and congratulations. Uh,